hi guys welcome back to a brand new video in today's video i will show you how you can run and debug flutter apps on your real device without using a virtual device so without any further ado let's get started so over here you can see my android phone screen is up so first of all make sure you have connected your android device with your system using a usb cable after that you'll have to turn on usb debugging on your android device so for that first of all go to the settings then you will get the USB debugging option under the developers option. So first of all, if you haven't enabled the developers option, first of all, scroll down and go to the about section, then software information, then tap on this build number a couple of times to enable the debuggers option. Sorry, the developers option. So it's done on my system. So I'll go back, back and over here under the about phone section, you can see my developer option is present. Click on it. Make sure the developers option is turned on, then scroll down a bit and you will be able to see the USB debugging option. Turn it on and you are done. Okay. So now let's come to the VS code over here where I am hovering my mouse. You can see it will show the devices connected with your system. Okay. So click on this and you will be able to see your device name is showing over here. Click on it to make sure that your Android device or your smartphone is selected as the available device. So now just press on F5 to start the debugging mode. So as you can see over here in the debug console, you are getting the information that is being done. So it started the Gradle task. So this process may take a couple of time depending upon our system. So please be patient and I will meet you when it's done. So as you can see, the Gradle task is complete and the app is launched on my system. So over here, you can see if I react with the app, the changes will be reflected over here in the debug console. Like if I click on the screen, it's showing over here. If I press on the plus, the counter will be incremented and it will be also reflected here in the debug console here. Okay, so that's it for how you can run and debug your Flutter apps on your real Android device. I hope it was easy for you to understand the process. If you haven't, please rewatch the video. I hope it will be clear to you. If you had, if you still had any problem, please comment down. I will try to help you and please do like and share this video with your friends and until next time. Goodbye.